All right, in this video, we're going to go ahead and enter time using the single time entry window. Okay, so up here under employees, you have use your weekly timesheet or you have an enter a single activity on your time. All right, so great reason to have this open. If you ha are, if you do have QuickBooks on everyone's computer, you're tracking time for. Okay, so if you have, for example, a you are an accounting firm and you all have QuickBooks on your computers anyway, so you're going to go ahead and use this single activity form here. Uh, and you can say, I'm going to call my client, and my client's name is, oh, I'm sorry, this is the name, so who's entering this? It's going to go ahead and say Elizabeth is entering this, okay? Uh, what customer is Elizabeth calling? She's going to be calling Mark Bauman. What service item is is she going to be providing? Um, we're just going to say labor. This is kind of a funny set of file for a demo company file for an accounting firm, but bear with me here. Okay, what class does she fall under? Okay, now she's all set up. Elizabeth's all set up. She's going to go ahead and make the call to the client and also start the clock. Okay, so right here, we're going to let the clock run for a little bit um, and Elizabeth will be talking to her client, taking notes as possible, you know, as much notes as needed. She can minimize this screen and continue to work on whatever she's working on elsewhere. Um, client needs us to reconcile all bank statements 2011. Okay, so dot, 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 keeps the time and then you can pause it if you're going to take a break. Um, or you can stop it. Now this might be that Elizabeth is just working on this client uh, in the office and actually reconciling their bank statements right now. Okay, so you, she could start the time clock and it'll keep track of how much time she spent there. So pausing it to take a break, go to lunch, whatever that is, that's a good idea, you know, to, to pause and stop billing the customer for that time. So once we get to a minute here, I'm just going to go ahead and stop the clock for now. Um, we're going to say, is this a billable uh, time? So is does this time need to be billed through to the client? Yes or no? All right. And we're just going to go ahead and say save and close. So now we build a single activity um, or we entered a single time activity into our QuickBooks.